everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you were watching this video, then you picked the Ninja Star and Launcher for your Trash Panda Treasure subscription box. All right, got chopsticks, tiny chopsticks. We have a flat stick, rubber band, and tiny rubber bands. We're gonna take those chopsticks and find where the double line is on the ends, line them up close together, take one of those small chopsticks, and set it right behind underneath the two main chopsticks. We're gonna take one of our rubber bands, we're gonna put it over the left side of that small chopstick. We're gonna take it across, also twisting it to make an X, and then loop it over the right side of that tiny chopstick. And if you twist it again, you should be able to do that exact same motion in reverse making an X and then bringing it home over that left side of the tiny chopstick. We want it to be pretty secure in place, so I'm gonna take another one and I'm gonna do the same. This time I'm gonna start from the right, twist it to X, bring it over the left, and then do the same thing to bring it back over to the right tiny chopstick side. Now I am going to take that flat piece I'm gonna turn the whole contraption over and set that flat piece so it kind of acts like a seesaw over the top of those tiny sticks. And then I'm gonna do that same twisting motion to secure it into place. Sometimes you can get it to, to go three times and we want it secure, so I'm gonna take another tiny rubber band and do the same thing, go in the other direction. Now, because we want this to work kind of like a clothespin, I'm now gonna take another one of those little rubber bands and I'm going to basically just keep that flat end that's closest to the middle of the chopsticks down. I think I can get that around about four times. Probably use more than one rubber band to secure that one into place as well. Perfect. Nice little clip. Now we're gonna look at the other end where the chopsticks start to taper down from a larger to a smaller size. We're gonna take that second tiny chopstick and this time we're gonna put it over the top and secure it in place with rubber bands. So this time the X is gonna be on the back side. And again, I'm gonna do it with multiple rubber bands to make sure that it stays nice and tight. All right, so this is basically our launcher, okay? We're gonna take, the final piece is the big rubber band. It's gonna go over the left side of the tiny chopstick. We're gonna loop it over the right side as well and all of that excess we're gonna pull away from us and then we're gonna hold it down in the middle and bring it back towards us through the middle of those two chopsticks. That is gonna be, uh, when we get our throwing star made, we're gonna bring that big rubber band through, oh, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have to re-loop that one. Over the left, over the right, pull it away, bring it back through the middle of those chopsticks, pull it down to loop it over the star, and sometimes that clothespin won't hold on its own, so you might have to hold it with your thumb, and when you let go, that is gonna shoot your shooting star. You are gonna have two different pieces, different colored pieces of origami paper. And the first thing we're gonna do is fold it in half. Bring the bottom edge up to the top edge. Unfold it, and then we're gonna take that bottom edge to the middle fold that we just made. Make sure those creases are nice and tight. Then we're gonna take the top edge and fold it to that middle crease. There we go nice and tight again and then we'll fold it back in half make sure that the open side of what you've just done is facing down i'm going to leave that for a second and we're going to do the same thing to the other colored sheet of origami paper fold it in half open it up bring the bottom edge up to that middle crease make a fold Bring the top edge down to the middle crease, make a fold, and then we're gonna fold it in half again, 
and that double edge, this time we want it opening towards the top. So you've got your two sheets opening away from each other. Okay, we're gonna start with that top sheet. We're gonna take the top left corner and we're gonna fold it down diagonally. You can use the back of your thumbnail or a bone folder to make sure that that's nice and tight. And then we're gonna take the bottom right corner and we're gonna fold it up. And make sure that crease is nice and tight. Okay. Now we're gonna take a look at that bottom sheet of paper. And this one, we are gonna start with that left-hand corner as well. We're gonna take the top left corner, excuse me, bottom left corner, and we are gonna fold it up. So it's kind of the opposite of what we did to the top sheet. Now we're gonna take the top right corner and fold it down. Then we're gonna take the top piece and we're gonna fold it in half. So the two kind of pointy ends will be even with each other, okay? Now we're gonna take um, the top part of that paper and bring it even with that center fold line, which is gonna give us a shape that's like an arrow that's pointing to the right. And then we're gonna do the opposite with the other side. So we're gonna take the bottom part of the paper, bring it, fold it up so it's brought even with that center fold line. And now we have an arrow shape that's pointing to the left. I'm gonna rotate that about 90 degrees. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the bottom piece where we're gonna fold it in half, gonna give us that center fold line. And then we're gonna open it back up Now, I'm gonna take that bottom part of the sheet, bring it even with that center fold line. So again, we're gonna have an arrow shape that's pointing to the right. And then the top line of that, I'm gonna bring over to that center fold to make an arrow shape that's pointing to the left. So now we have two of these that are mirror images. I'm gonna turn the right one over and then keeping the left-hand side one the same, I'm gonna put it over the top, kind of like a plus sign. You'll know you're doing it right because you've got three little diagonal slash marks going down your stack of origami paper. And what we're gonna do is sort of fold on that diagonal slash mark. So I'm gonna take that top triangle, fold it on the origami, like that diagonal slash mark, and the other sheet of paper, thanks to the folding we've done, sort of already has a little pocket for the bottom point of that triangle to slip into. So if I kind of lift that up and put that inside, and now for the bottom one, I'm gonna fold up on that diagonal slash mark Bring it up. And again, that other sheet of paper kind of has a pocket already built in for me to sort of insert that corner into. And those are two of the points on my kind of ninja star. So now I'm gonna flip the whole thing upside down we can see two more diagonal slash marks that we're going to fold on, this time the other color of paper. And there should be a diagonal slash mark in the middle that will be kind of our pocket that we can tuck them into. So 
So I'm going to tuck that one in. And then on that final diagonal slash line, I'm going to fold it up and into that final little pocket. And it should slip right in. And then you have your throwing star. Thank you guys for following along. I hope you enjoyed this month's sort of Japanese theme that we had going on. A couple quick things. We are about to start our summer reading extravaganza at the Rapid City Public Library. Um, so next time you're in, or check online our website uh, and you can see what offerings we have for kids for teens and for adults we are going to have weekly drawings for teens and adults there's going to be a scavenger hunt one for teens and one for kids so maybe take a look and see if that's something that you're interested in one final note for you guys you may have seen the very small blue note that was in your box because we've gotten so many subscriptions uh, i can't keep up with all of them um, so we're gonna have to cap each monthly offering at 75. So if what we're offering for next month looks really good to you, get your subscription in sooner rather than later. Um, if you perchance end up on the waiting list, please go ahead and sign up because if we have boxes that aren't picked up or I happen to have extra supplies, I will definitely put boxes together for you guys. Also, it says that there's a new way to sign up, which is true on our website. If you go to events, you can follow that through to find trash, pe trash panda treasure boxes and sign up online. But you can also still sign up the way that you've been signing up all of these months regularly. So we're just trying to get more options out there to you guys. So thank you again. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.